So, here it is, the Big Sky um, International Revolution two-person tent. Um, I just took it out of the package. I took it on a short hike here with my backpack. And as you can see, I just uh, pulled it out of the package. I set it up for the first time. I think I set it up in probably two to three minutes tops. Um, it doesn't get any more straightforward. You just you extend the poles and you put it in the four corners in the grommets. Um, and then you clip it and uh, the, the staking is obviously, uh, it's pretty obvious where it goes, it's straightforward. Um, so this tent is awesome, it's exactly what I've been looking for in a, uh, in a two person freestanding tent. Um, all the features that I've, I've wanted and I finally found uh, the perfect tent for me. Um, and really I'd recommend this tent to anyone. Um, you can get it in a lot of different uh, uh, fabrics. There's uh, the sil nylon, then there's uh, ultralight sil nylon or super ultralight. Um, so you can uh, get the desired weight that you want. Also you can get uh, um, the aluminum poles um, which are much more strong. That's the ones I went with. Or you can get the carbon fiber if you want the light ones. And there's also like a composite uh, that are uh, a little bit more pricey and lightweight. Um, but so I, yeah, I went with the aluminum ones because I wanted something that could uh, withstand the wind a little bit better and a uh, um, little more stormy conditions. Um, so this tent has two vestibules, one on each side, just like this, um, with a vent on the top on each side that can be collapsed uh, and velcro velcro shut. Um, the uh, the end of the vestibule just stakes out at one point and it has this uh, little um, cord adjustment system here which is really easy to use. You just loosen it with that and then tighten it up with this so even if um, after a day of use it, it sags a little bit because of the moisture and uh, condensation you can just tighten it right back up and make everything tight. Um, so it is a two, two wall or double wall tent. Um, it's got uh, a completely separate inside system that clips on in the inside so you could remove it if you want if you want it more of like a tarp style tent um, you could leave that at home and just uh, bring the poles in the outside um, I just love how this is an external frame two-person tent that's so lightweight has the double walls or the uh, double vestibules on each side for ease of use um, this is just the perfect tent in my opinion doesn't get any better than this. I think with everything it weighs like right around three pounds and this is the heavier version. You can get the Cuban fiber or the ultralight sil nylons with the carbon fiber poles and you can get even lighter but um, I wanted something that would be um, as durable as possible yet that ultralight uh, weight balance. So I went with this one. Um, like I said I set this up in just a couple minutes and I wanted something like that because I want to be able to set up in stormy or rainy conditions without uh, without having to get the inside of the tent wet. Because I've I've experienced setting up in the rain, and you're trying to set up uh, the first part of the tent, which the rain is just pouring in through the mesh, and then you get the inside wet, and then by the time you get the rain fly on. Um, you got a good amount of moisture on the inside, if not like puddles, and you want to be able to um, store things inside the tent right away to keep them dry, especially like if you have down gear or sleeping bags. Uh, you want that to start out dry. So I love the the quickness of how uh, I love the ease and the quickness of setting this up and then keeping everything dry. Um, one person can easily set it up. I've I've set up some tents where you need at least two people to set the, the tent up but this one's so straightforward and easy and quick it's just I've never set up a tent uh, more easy and fast than this um, and like I said it's it's super light um, it's not there there are tents that are lighter two-person tents that are lighter um, but with all the features that this has I think it's well worth having it weigh just a little bit more um, with the double vestibules and the two double D doors, the, the feature of being able to unclip 
the uh, the inside if you wanted to just bring the outside and poles on a different trip um, just wonderful and this and this stuff does seem pretty durable I mean it's it seems like some tough stuff um, and uh, yeah it's just a great great piece of gear uh, on the inside you come in here and you got two mesh pockets on each side um, that both people can use for, to store gear and then on the foot end you also have a bigger pocket which could easily store like um, your clothes or wet gear for the night or during the day if you're trying to dry them out and you're on a day trip um, it's got nice deep uh, deep uh, what do they call those bathtub floor walls you know a good six to eight inches there um, the head end has a little bit more room I think it's like 52 inches if I remember right and then the foot end is like more like 46 to 48 so slightly smaller where you don't need that extra space um, and the the guy lines on the outside pull out the uh, outside shell away from the mesh so that any condensation that builds up on that um, isn't contacted on the inside at all um, let's see it's got these little loop out points here which are super cool because you can hang anything from it um, that you want you have uh, one there one there so that's three and then four and five or wait no <laughs> six seven eight I think there's eight of them total um, so yeah that's a, a great little feature if you want to hang stuff in there again to like dry it out or something um, this is just such a great tent I haven't used it yet but I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to testing it out in different weather conditions because from what I hear about this tent it's uh, it's got some really good reviews I haven't read any bad reviews about like how it holds up in rain or wind um, it's definitely not a four person tent because of the external frame it doesn't have the strength to like, hold up uh, if you're gonna get, get accumulation with snow but it, I mean if you could use it in the winter if you know that you're not gonna get snow that night uh, not a problem but I just I've always been a fan of freestanding tents because you can move it um, if you if it's not set up in the right place you can just move it a little bit to the side um, you can uh, set it up on any surface um, even if you're setting it up on a rocky condition you could just pop it up and move it to wherever is best and then really the only necessary parts to stake out are the vestibules um, you could get away with not staking the other parts if you're inside it for the night and it's not super windy um, if you were on a rocky condition you could just set up the uh, the vestibule there um, with a heavy rock or something or a big log and then uh, from that big log just take a rope to like a tree or something tie it to that um, you could find ways around it very easily but yeah I've been a fan of the freestanding external frame but they've always been way too heavy um, not had the features that I want and finally I found this Big Sky International uh, Revolution two-person tent and uh, I'm so excited to have it I'm uh, already a huge fan of it and I've I've only had it for like a half an hour now but uh, I, I give this a 10 out of a 10 um, give a lot of credit to the uh, the company for making such a quality product even though they're not like a huge well-known company um, more of like a cottage style company they're just I think they're top-notch better than uh, most other brands for sure um, so I would recommend this to anyone.